everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Tuesday, and I thought I would do my somewhat bathing suit haul, but mainly cover-ups. I did order, I got my order yesterday from Venus, and like I told you, I have ordered bathing suits from them for so long. This mirror is distracting me here, and I've always loved them. Great quality, and um, just I've always enjoyed the Venus bathing suits, so I... I just, I should have known better. I ordered something different thinking, oh, this will look better. You know, just you start doubting yourself. And I have always worn, of course, back in the 80s and 90s, I wore the just skimpy as you can get because I was just thin as a rail. And so I could wear pretty much anything I wanted to. And so now that I am curvier, after I've had children, I like to wear, you would think that I would want to wear the high waist ones, and that is what I ordered to try, but I still prefer the straight across. I don't know, that's just what I'm most comfortable in, and you know, comfortable like the way I feel, and physically most comfortable in. And when you have grown up at the beach, and this is how I feel about it, and this is what I observe, some of the things I'm showing you today, if I walked out on the beach with this on, they would look at me like I would, had lost my mind. Because when you've grown up on the beach, it's not as much of a presentation. You just put on your bathing suit and you just go out there. And I can remember when I was young, I would just wear, like I would usually take a t-shirt and cut it off, like cut the sleeves off, cut the neck out, make it a crop top and maybe wear some shorts and some flip flops. And that was my stuff I wore to the beach. These days, what I've worn is just like some of those little Old Navy dresses or Target or um, Walmart, little, just little cotton dresses. That's what I usually put on. But I have come across some cover-ups this year that I am just crazy about. And so I thought, now that I am traveling a little bit more and maybe going to some pools and like we're going to go a couple places this summer, and just some of them were just so pretty. And a lot of them, like the one I have on now and one that I'm gonna show you, you can wear them over like a white tank top and jeans or leggings or something like that. So anyway, I'm gonna share those with you today. But first I'm gonna show you the bathing suit bottoms that I ordered and they are reversible. They're from Venus and I got the medium, which did fit. I ordered this style right here. So it's cut up in the back but then it's also like high-waisted and so I just went and tried this on I didn't even take the tape and stuff out of it and I just I was not comfortable in how I looked but if this is your style it reminds me of that picture of Yolanda Foster where she, I hope I can find it where she's kind of she's modeling and she's kind of skipping across the beach and she's got that good high leg you know 90s bathing suit on that's what it reminded me of but it just wasn't what I like. I really like, I've got one on now that I'm going to show you that I found at JCPenney's. So, but these are neat because they're reversible and I'm just going to probably send these back and exchange them for another. I like to buy separates. Rarely ever do I buy a whole bathing suit unless it comes in several different colors that I like because I don't like having different tan lines. And the reason is not just the way it looks, if you have different tan lines, then you're constantly getting kind of burnt or you have to watch out for the area that's not covered each time. I just like to be able to throw on my bathing suit, have the same tan lines and go. So I don't have to worry about those little white areas. Even, you know, it could just be a little piece on your hip or something. You don't want to worry about that. So, but I am going to keep the tops that I got from Venus because I love them. I ordered this color, which is like a coppery color and it's just a good you know um triangle top and this has the pads in it and since i'm not going to wear this one i'm gonna go ahead and take it out the one i have on i left the pads in because i felt like it might be better for this video if you know what i mean but um i always take these out just because i don't i don't need any extra padding and i'm just not that concerned about it so, but I just loved this color. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's gonna look so good with black bottoms. And that is another tip. I just get a lot of different black bottoms. Usually I'll get different styles that are about the same tan line. 
and some of them might have like a little band on the side like the ones from Walmart. Some might have even the tie on the side and then I get different tops, usually in the triangle style. One year I got the kind that just goes straight across and I just didn't like, I'm funny about this. I, I am funny about the way I look naked to myself. I have to like it. It's not, you know, how I look to John or, you know, nobody else sees me, but I did not like how I looked with that, the, with the white boobs going like this. I don't know, there was just something about it. I prefer this, it's just more me. And um, so I like the triangle tops. But what I liked about these is it has like the little gold, um, like square beads on the ends. They're just really pretty. And I believe I ordered, yeah, I ordered a D, 32, double D, 34D, 36C. So these actually cover my whole boob. And one thing I have noticed too, if you have larger boobs and you're small around like I am, if you get a bathing suit that doesn't slide, what's gonna happen is when you put this bathing suit on and you tie it around you, the cups are gonna be way too far apart. I learned that the hard way. And for years, I would just do that. And I, you know, struggled with keeping my bathing suit on and just having this massive amount of cleavage. And then I realized I need to get the kind that slide. The, a lot of times the haltery ones, you know, they're stationary. And I think those look so pretty, but I like these better as far as the way they fit. So I wanted to show you this, the coppery colored one. And then the two bottoms I got were, um, they're actually both reversible, so you could cut this off. One has got the baby blue and then black. And then I loved this one. It was um, nude, which I thought would be really kind of cool. And then this like burgundy type color. So I did see a lot of pretty bathing suits that I liked. So I will link some down below that there's one right on one of those first pages on the right that I, every time I flip it open, I think about ordering it and I might just order that one. Okay, so I'm going to stand up and show you what I have on now just with my cover up on. I'm not that brave, but I wanted to at least show you this cover up because it is gorgeous. And then I have a couple more I'm going to show you. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the first wrap that I'm going to show you. And I actually, I do not wear high heels at the beach, but I thought these, if you are wearing these clear sandals in any form, I know that there are some really good ones that are kind of like a mule slide on, would look even better. But um, when I was at, in California with Sheila, I saw this, we were in, it was when I was getting the hat and they had it hanging behind the counter and I saw it and I just fell in love with it. You guys know I love lavender. It's just so beautiful to me. And it's a beach cover up. It just ties right here, which I think is an awesome place to tie because it kind of lets you walk and everything, but yet it keeps, you know, it keeps everything covered pretty good. And I think, you know, it's just perfect. And it was a little pricey for a beach cover up, but I just think it packs such an impact. It's so beautiful. And like the girl said, it would look really good with jeans with a, like you could even put like a tube top and jeans and sandals and it would look so good. Um, top, and I do still have the pads on. And then I wanted to show you like this little um, bikini is one that I bought from uh, JCPenney's. And I love the bottom because it has these colors on it and I think they'll go with everything. This is the style that I like, and it's just got like a somewhat full bottom, you know, it comes up right here. And um, so this is the style that I like, and so I'm going to just probably keep this bathing suit on and show you some other cover-ups. I'm gonna show you one that really wasn't marketed as a cover-up, but I think it would look really good. Okay, this is a little cover-up or I think it was marketed as just, I don't know what it was. I think it was just like a little wrap, but I did get it from Zara and I bought it a while ago, like before I went to Reward Style. And when I got it, I thought, hmm, you know, I thought it would be something good to wear with jeans and, you know, just something different. And I didn't end up wearing it, but I just think it's so pretty that I kept it. And um, so you could wear this 
definitely as a beach cover-up. I just think it's so pretty. And uh, it would just look good. It would look good over just like a slip dress or something too. I hope they still have it. I hate that I waited this long to show it to you. It's just, I was kind of collecting things for this video. And so it does still let you see. I think that's neat. This one's actually maybe a little easier to wear than the other one, but I do think the lavender one is so pretty. Okay, and then the next ones are some that I found at H&M, and H&M has the cutest bathing suits for the best prices and lots of good cover-ups. And so these are not quite as frilly and extravagant, so I'm going to change my shoes and then put on the new cover-ups. I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the first one that I got at H&M, and this one is just... This is just so good, even if you are not getting it as a beach cover-up, this is a good, like a robe or something. I love it. And I love the design. I think it's rich looking. It reminds me of like Gucci, Versace, stuff like that, Chanel. And it's a good length. So I've got a mirror right here. So it comes like right above the knee. And then it's kind of long. And I just put on my Roxy flip-flops that have a little bit of a wedge and that way you feel like you've got on you know something a little bit better than just plain Javianas and it gives you that lift and you just feel good but these are these are in my top five favorite pair of shoes ever I love these shoes I wear them all the time but this oh my gosh this feels so good I swear I might go back and see if they have any more I could wear this just around the house as a robe it is staticky right now it's sticking to me but um I love this and think if you had like a really cool necklace like the beaded ones with the tassels that I love so much this would look really good I love this cover up so here is another one from H&M these are really nice they feel good they were gosh I think they were in it's $12.99 I don't even know let me see how much that other one was the other one was high dollar for H&M it was $34.99 but this one is um, really soft. Does it have pockets? No, it doesn't have pockets. That would be crazy. And um, again, I've got it on with just my, you know, flip flops. But if you wanted to wear like a wedge or something, that would look really good. And this is just easy. I think, I, you know, I think this is easier than what I'm usually wearing, which is like a little dress. This goes on easier. And this one is really, really soft. And I believe this came in a couple of different colors. They just had all kinds. I had to stop myself from just keeping on getting cover-ups. But um, so, and you can see, I mean, you could easily pump gas. I always think about the stuff you have to do. Like when I was young, I mean, I know that this sounds crazy, but we just walked around in our bikinis. And I mean, I remember pumping gas. We would go in the grocery store. It was just, I don't know, I guess it was just a different time. And, you know, it, we just didn't think anything of it to just be in our bathing suits all day, every day, and barefooted. And I just wanted to show you a couple more things. Brooke came home last night from Walmart and she had these. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting ready to do a video on that. So. I got her to leave these out here to show you. I mean, how beautiful is this little beach cover up? And let's see what size is she. Oh, it's one size. So I guess I could have put it on. It's the um, Time and True one size. And let's see, $15.97. Look how pretty that is. Okay, let me put it on for you. Hold on. Okay, now this one is a little bit. Um, it says one size, but they don't mean it. <laughs> it is smaller. It's too small for me. It's not comfortable and it's short, but um, you can still see how pretty it is. It will look just great on her. And for reference, I'm a size eight. I'm just like a true medium size eight. And Brooke is like a, she's much smaller, shorter. I'm five six and she is about five three and she's like a size two or four. So this will be perfect on her but um, it's still so pretty. I love, I love pom-poms on stuff. So that is a good deal for Walmart. I'll go ahead and show you this one. And it's just like a little tube dress. Isn't that precious? It's gonna look so good on her. And I think she said this one, oh, this one's one size too, but that's a joke. I would look like a sausage in this. But um, this is, um, I think she said $5. I don't know if it has the 
price on there. I think she's already taken it off, but $5. So this is really perfect to be able to throw on and just go. Okay, and um, another thing that Brooke bought these for one of her friends, and I was like, oh, I love those. I've always loved bamboo jewelry. I think Kenneth J. Lane always did like a bunch of bamboo jewelry, and I need to ask Sheila if she's ever done the bamboo hoops, but Brooke bought these for a friend, and then she bought me a set last night because I liked them, but they're just some cheap hoops that are the bamboo, and they are $4.88 for three pair. And I was thinking, you know, I will probably wear these for days when I go to the beach. And I want to wear earrings. I think, um, here, let me put them on. They're real light, but they're not, I mean, they're $5 earrings. But I thought they would look good, you know, and you wouldn't have to worry about them. I have worn my Sheila Fajal hoops to the beach, but I don't know. I would be scared to. I would wear my... You know, I could wear my all gold, solid gold ones, but then I'd be scared I was gonna lose it. So these will be perfect when you don't want to mess them up or you don't want to lose them. But um, I just thought they were so pretty and it's got like the rose gold and the silver. So I let you guys down a little bit on the bathing suits. I was hoping I was gonna have some new ones to show you. I did just get these bottoms and I wanted to show you those, but I mainly wanted to show you the cover-ups. I think everybody has their own taste in bathing suits. I kind of like just a basic bikini. And I will show you if I get some more. I might even order, when I send these back to Venus, I might order that other one that I've been looking at. And so I hope that you saw something that you liked. And um, nail polish, I cut my nails back short and they feel so good. But this is my all-time favorite, candy, not candied rose, um, rose among thorns. Candied rose was a Dior lip liner I used to love. And um, so I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.